before we get started, just a reminder to everybody that this is my personal way of solving this problem. For me, this is an efficient and clear way of solving this specific math problem. I highly advise that you watch the entire video without skipping so you'll fully understand the step-by-step -step process of solving this math problem. Feel free to rewind any segment of the video. I hope this video will make things easier for any of your needs. Thanks and enjoy the video. In this video, we will solve the 2020 Mathematics Problem 1-2 and this will serve as a reviewer for the Graduate School of Engineering Entrance Examination of the University of Tokyo. The 2020 Mathematics Problem 1-2 is given like Find the value of the following integral i is equal to the integral of x to the 5th power times exponential of negative x to the 4th power plus 2x squared minus 1 dx where the integral is evaluated from 1 to infinity. Let us call this as equation 2. Note that for a positive constant alpha, the relation of the integral of exponential of negative alpha x squared dx from 0 to infinity is equal to 1 half of the square root of pi over alpha holds. So we are given this clue which we can use later on in the simplification of similar terms in the integral. So to start this problem, we can first simplify the provided problem. So we first apply the simplification of the exponent. Let us have i is equal to the integral from 1 to infinity of x to the fifth power times exponential of negative x squared minus 1 squared dx. Take note that negative x to the fourth power plus 2x squared minus 1 can be simplified as negative x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1, which is a perfect square of x squared minus 1. As of this point, let us use transformation. We let u is equal to x squared minus 1, such that x squared is equal to u plus 1. And from u equals x squared minus 1, we will have du equals 2x dx. So, evaluating the original integral, we can rewrite this as integral from 1 to infinity of 2 over 2. So, we can use the 2 in the numerator for the du later on. And then the x to the fifth power, let us split into x times x squared times x squared. And then we have exponential of negative x squared minus 1 squared dx. So applying the representation for u, we can substitute u equals x squared minus 1 and x squared equals u plus 1. So we have here 2x and dx. The, these two encircled groups can be grouped as du, while the 2 in the denominator can be extracted outside. So we will have i is equal to 1 half the integral of 2x dx is du. x squared is u plus 1, so we have two groups of u plus 1, so we have u plus 1 squared. And then exponential of negative u squared from x squared minus 1. And then for the limits of integral, when x equals 1, u is equal to 0. And when x is equal to infinity, u is also equal to infinity. So we have transformed the integral from variables of x into variables of u. What we can do is expand this u plus 1 quantity squared. So we have i is equal to 1 half integral from 0 to positive infinity of u squared plus 2u plus 1 times e to the negative u squared du. And then we can distribute 
this u squared plus 2u plus 1 to the exponential of negative u squared. So we will have 1 half integral from 0 to infinity of u squared e raised to negative u squared du. And then plus 1 half of 2u is u. So this is plus integral from 0 to infinity of u exponential of negative u squared du. And for the last term, we have 1 half the integral from 0 to infinity of the exponential of negative u squared du. So our original integral i can now be divided into three integrals. Let us denote this as the group A and then this let us denote as group B and then group C such that later on we will have I equals A plus B plus C. The easiest to evaluate is group C. From the given, this is similar to the provided integral here. This is similar to the integral of 0 to infinity of the exponential of negative alpha x squared where we just change x into u and we let alpha equals 1. So from the given, c is actually 1 half. So 1 half and then the integral here can be compared to this group with alpha equals 1. So this is actually 1 half of 1 half square root of pi over 1 because alpha in this case is equal to 1. So therefore, we have c equals 1 fourth of the square root of pi. Next, let us solve for b. So we are provided b as the integral from 0 to infinity of u exponential of negative u squared du. Let us apply substitution of new variables. Let v be equal to u squared such that dv is equal to 2u du. So we transform this expression as the integral from 0 to infinity of 2 over 2 times u times e to the negative u squared du. In this case, we can group 2u and du as dv and change the exponent u squared into v. Similarly, for the limits of integration, when u is equal to 0, v is also equal to 0. When u is equal to infinity, v is also equal to infinity. So the limits of integration will not change. So applying and substituting v into u, we will have the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 half e raised to negative v dv. And this will be easier to evaluate. So for b, we have 1 half integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to negative v dv. This is simply 1 half times negative e raised to negative b evaluated from 0 to infinity. So we have negative 1 half of e raised to negative infinity minus e raised to negative of 0 or 0. So this is negative 1 half of 0 minus 1. So this is same as negative 1 half of negative 1 which will give us as b equals positive 1 half. Now the most difficult group to be integrated is group A. So as we continue, we have again group A from the previous slide as 1 half of the integral from 0 to infinity of u squared e raised to negative u squared du. 
So in this method, we will first use another transformation. We let y equals u squared such that u is equal to square root of y. And from here, we will have dy as 2u du. So we can express a as 1 half integral from 0 to infinity of again 2 over 2 times u times u times e to the negative u squared du. And then we again extract 2u and du to become dy. And then we substitute square root of y into this single power of u. And then u squared here will be substituted with y. Again, for the limits of integration, if u is equal to 0, then y is equal to 0. And when u is equal to infinity, y is equal to infinity. And then the 2 in the denominator, we can extract it outside. So we will have a as 1 fourth integral from 0 to infinity of square root of y times the exponential of negative y dy. From this expression, we can apply integration by parts or IBP. Take note that IBP is expressed as the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. We will reuse the variables u and v for the integration by parts method. From the expression inside the integral, let us use u is equal to this group square root of y such that du becomes 1 half times y raised to negative 1 half or 1 over 2 square root of y dy. And then dv here, let us use this group dv. So dv is equal to e raised to negative y dy such that when we integrate dv, we will have v is equal to negative e raised to negative y. And then we will copy the solution to the IBP. So therefore, the integral from 0 to infinity of square root of y e to the negative y dy is equal to u times v, which is this u and this v. So we have u which is square root of y times v, which is negative e raised to negative y, minus the integral of, so we have negative e raised to negative y times du, which is 1 over 2 square root of y dy. Simplifying this expression, we have square root of y times negative e raised to negative y plus the integral of e raised to negative y times 1 over 2 square root of y dy. And we will have two terms. So for the first term, we have negative square root of y e raised to negative y evaluated from 0 to infinity. So we have negative of square root of infinity e raised to negative infinity minus negative of square root of 0 e raised to negative 0. Second term will cancel. And then the first term will also cancel due to the exponential of negative infinity. Therefore, the first term is equal to 0. So this will simply cancel. Next, for the second term, to evaluate the second term, we have 
integral of e to the negative y over 2 square root of y dy. Let us perform another substitution by reusing the variables. Let u equals square root of y such that du over dy is equal to 1 over 2 square root of y such that dy is equal to 2 square root of y du. So substituting to the original equation of the second term, we have the integral from 0 to infinity of the exponential of negative u squared times du. And simply, this is provided before this one, the integral of the exponential of negative alpha x squared dx from 0 to infinity is 1 half the square root of pi over alpha. And in this case, they have similar forms. And this is simply 1 half square root of pi because alpha is equal to 1 in this case. So now, from the expression of a, which is 1 fourth of this integral, we will have 1 fourth of 1 half of square root of pi, which give us a equals 1 over 8 of square root of pi. Okay. So again, from the previous slide, the value of c is equal to 1 over 4 square root of pi, and then the value of b is equal to 1 half. So therefore, our integral i is equal to a plus b plus c, where a is equal to 1 over 8 square root of pi, b is equal to 1 half, and then c is equal to 1 over 4 square root of pi. We can combine this into one single expression, i is equal to 1 8 of 4 plus 3 square root of pi. And that's it for this video. If there are any questions, go on and leave a comment down below. I'll answer all your comments as soon as possible. If you want to see more videos from a somewhat unconventional small YouTuber, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave your thoughts down in the comments and turn on the post notification by clicking that bell button. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.